Mysteries of the World? Ton be Why? Our president's personal chef has requested that we reclaim his prized knife of legend. Investigation has revealed that a Tonberry in the coal mines is currently in possession of the knife. Oh no. Well, you know what? The silver armlet could be kind of good. Maybe. Okay. Always got to check behind for chests. Oh. There you are. Well, let's make sure we're topped off, because... Activating combat mode. This is a higher level than the last one. No. Oh, God. Okay, well, you know what? Here we go! Go, go, go! Sometimes you just gotta limit break the Master Tonberry, and that didn't really... <laughs> Oh, no, no, no. Uh, you know what? Oh, okay. I, I think I'm just so used to the absolute panic whenever he actually gets an attack off that I kind of just assume that it's instant death. Oh, God, stay the hell away from me. Stay the hell away from me. <laughs> okay, we're done. And we got the silver armlet. I can't wait to probably not use that. Wait, Tonberry is everywhere. The kitchen knife possessed by the previous Tonberry was not the chef's legendary knife, but we have new information about another Tonberry with the chef's precious cutlery. Oh, wonderful. Let's do it. Debating combat mode. Oh no, wait, what? I can't throw a Tonberry at me <laughs> at the first enemy, please. Oh god. Although, I guess the quest was called Tonberries Everywhere. No. So I shouldn't be too surprised. No, stop that. God, those guys are... They don't seem like much, and, you know, if you were just to describe them to somebody... It doesn't really sound, like, that bad, but fighting them is... It's not bad, it's not annoying, it's just anxiety-inducing, beyond all reason. Hey, we've got more water crystals. Activating combat mode. Oh, no. And here I was, just enjoying the crystals. Ow. God, that no AP cost is such invincible. Oh, I fear nothing. Yeah, that unlimited AP with these guys is a very, very dangerous game. I don't know why I find this so peaceful and relaxing, but like... It's like the sound of the gentle flow of water. I guess the slightly ominous music in the background doesn't really help, but... You know. Sometimes you gotta find peace in the moments of anxiety. Oh, sweet Jesus, no. Why? Warm-up's over. And a limit break. Prove Perfect timing. To me. I got it. <laughs> oh, hell yes. Just punching and kicking the absolute hell out of these things. God, that's... Gotta be so cathartic. Oh, God. Oh, God. Oh, God. Oh... Oh, you know what? It doesn't matter which one. Oh, Master Tarnberry, meet now. Satan. This is going to be absolute overkill. But again, it's going to feel so good. <laughs> I 
again, no other reason other than just being oddly therapeutic, oddly cathartic, oh, yeah, whatever so. term you want to use for it. Oh, we're not done yet, though. All right there, buddy. You saw what I just did to your friends. And how even the entire cavern full of, well, more Activating of you. Mode. No. Oh, this is hell. Okay, buddy, I didn't even do anything yet. Okay, well, then again, I guess there was the rest of the cavern full of your friends, and ow. Okay, you know what? I need to take advantage of them all being gathered up like this. Wait, I can push them. Ooh. I didn't realize I could kind of push them like that. Okay, we have one down. Almost have two down. Oh, God. But just because of how many of them there are. Later. Oh, you know what? The, big guns. the power of Sephiroth compels you, little hell spawns. God, that is the scariest possible thing that any Final Fantasy game could ever throw at you. Thinking you're walking into a single Tonberry fight, just to realize there's actually four of them. And we've still got some more. Oh no. Despite the number of Tonberries in the last mission, not one held the chef's legendary knife. But the latest news is the most reliable yet. Master Tonberry in the caves is in possession of it. Go, slay the Master Tonberry. Oh, and we're gonna add Master Tonberry to the DMW, aren't we? Well, you know what? That alone will be more than worth it. Also, my god, I did not realize I've been recording for like two hours. Anything back here? Other than probably another Master Tonberry? Ooh, wait, that actually goes back a ways. Actually kind of scares me. Activating no. Mode. Alright game, if you'd like to give me something good, I'd really appreciate it. Uh, except it's always the no AP cost. Again, that is a very, very dangerous game. But I have to take it. All right, come on. Oh, the power of bomb, it compels you. And again, for no other reason than I find this little cutscene absolutely gorgeous, I'm just gonna let it play. God, please kill at least one of them. No? All right, well, that was at least close enough. Ooh, more pretty crystals. Actually, wait, these are the same exact pretty crystals. Activating combat no. Oh, critical hits? Hell yeah. Oh, oh, except that will kill me if he hits me again. Okay, quickly. There we go. God, I love that critical hit one. There's a chest. Yeah, I think that's the craziest Activating thing about all this. Mode. No. Is I came all the way back here just for a single chest. Oh, God. Why? All right, come on. The power of Satan compels you. Hell yes. Oh, no. We're going to have to fight all of them on the way back now. Oh, no. Oh, God. Okay. So you have no problem bombing this village? Cause I have a big problem with it. All evidence of misconduct must be erased. As a Turk, I must enforce company policy. That excuse again. Yeah. Oh wait, no limit break? Oh God. But yeah, it looks like every time the DMW rolls, it costs 10 SP, which, I mean, to be fair, we're never going to run out at this pace. 
But yeah, because SP... Yeah, there it is. Okay. So yeah, it, um, it, there was something I was looking at that said, where was it? Yeah, switch to SP convert. Which, I don't know why we would do that, considering the, the, the just insane amount we've kind of accumulated just from, well, basically not even realizing that it existed. Out of the way. But it makes me wonder if, like, there'll be some other costs for it. Maybe like a materia fusion or something. Oh, yeah. And we're done. Okay. <laughs> oh, wait, wait, wait. I think I'm running the wrong way. Yes. I've completely got turned around, which means we're probably going to have to do this fight again. Activating combat mode. No, no. You know, sometimes you just gotta kill it with fire. Oh, yeah. Fight. Activating combat mode. Activating combat mode. Hey, here we are. God, please ask for jump. What do you want? Use jump? I got some jump. Use fire. I got fire. Wait, what? Oh, Conflict yeah. Resolved. Fire. Oh. Okay, so he wants to jump and then fire. And I'm assuming it's. It, I'm assuming we're just gonna have to use like an entire specific skill set on him. Activating combat mode. Activating combat mode. Activating combat mode. Bring it on. Anyway, I'm feeling a little hell bent on actually trying to. Ah! figure out what this little jar dude had. So, yeah. Okay, Mr. Jar Dude. Activating combat mode. Hey, here we are. All right, what do you want? You want some jump? I can give you some jump. Use fire. I can give you some fire. Use gravity. Uh that's an item, right? We don't have gravity. Uh, I could have sworn we had like some gravity orbs or something. Oh, no, no, no. These are for uh, materia fusions, not for... Okay. For some reason, I was thinking dark matter for gravity, but that's... I literally read that before and it just completely slipped my mind. I mean, to be fair, am I going the wrong way again? No, no, okay. Activating combat mode. I have been on this single cavern for like an hour now. <laughs> and I'm actually a little worried about it. I'm beginning to think that maybe this is how Zack somehow survived in the remake. Instead of, you know, being out there in the world where things could obviously kill him, he just got locked in a cavern full of Master Tawn Berries. Which, to be fair, this might actually be a fate uh, potentially worse than death. Activating combat just because you have to suffer through all the anxiety that comes with it. This is truly like the purgatory of the Final Fantasy universe. Activating combat mode. I'm actually starting to wonder because there's the whole DMW thing, you know, normal, high, low, whatever. Since we've been in this dungeon, in this cavern for so long, does that influence, you know, why it's actually getting higher? <laughs> Is it just the game thinking that like I'm struggling so it's trying to give me like an easy out? Because that would be kind of funny. And at the same time, in this little dungeon, it would be absolutely understandable. Activating combat mode. No physical. Wait. Is the sword physical? Or not the sword, the knife? Oh, hell yes it is. Which means we're basically invincible. 
Except for that. Activating combat mode. Okay, we are going this way, right? Yes, okay. <laughs> uh, but we've still got so far to go. Activating combat mode. Oh, unlimited MP? Hell yes! God, I love that. And null physical. On this day, Bahamut has truly blessed us. Now for you, you little piece of shit. We have all of the chests, why am I looking around? Activating combat mode. Bring it on! Oh no, you... you're not just a Tonberry. You are the master Tonberry. Ooh! That is so scary. Okay. He does a little bonus damage, and he can double hit. AP zero? Well, you know what? Oh. Ooh! That is so much worse. Zero MP cost? Well, you know what? I need that. God, I need that so bad. He just won't die. <laughs> There's something so menacing about blasting this little dude with so much magic, and it doesn't even deter him. He just keeps doing his little death waddle at me. I think with my friends, I always joke about it being like the Darth Vader march, where like, you're in a hallway with Darth Vader, and he just slowly starts walking at you, and you already know there's nothing you can do. I mean, you can try to fight back, you can try and shoot, you can try and run. It's not gonna help. <laughs> Your fate is already sealed. And this guy perfectly embodies that, oh no, our AP is suddenly limited. Oh my god. That took forever. <laughs> Tonberry has been added to the DMW. New limit break has been unlocked. Murderous thrust. God, I hope that was worth it. DMW chocobo mode. After acquiring a chocobo feather or other special items, the DMW may enter chocobo mode. I don't know what this is, but it sounds amazing. All real images will change into chocobo mode images, and if they match, a corresponding limit break move will be added to your stock. However, there may be some... duds. Uh, unleash limit break chocobo mode. Okay. <laughs> I love the chaos of that. Or at least, you know, how it sounds. Anyway, um... Regen actually sounds amazing, but I want to do, yeah, to end the war with Wu Tai. Now that we have Master Chon, uh, now that we have Master Tonberry's stuff, let's try and pay this guy a quick visit again. Not to mention I've leveled like seven times, so yeah. Oh, Chocobo Tonberry? <laughs> well, you know what? Let's just go ahead and test out this murderous thrust. Oh my god. I love everything about that. So I'm kind of thinking barrier. Because if this guy is anywhere near as strong as he was last time, or I should say, if we're nowhere near as strong as I'm hoping I now am, this is going to be really, really bad. Because I think he did 3,000 damage on his big charge-up thing last time. No MP cost? Oh, hell yes. Come on. We're just going to go absolutely crazy with it. And hopefully I can get him down to at least half health before it runs out. Oh, oh, okay, well. It ran out, and yeah, you know, it's close. Okay, come on, come on, come on. No. This might be death. Ooh, not quite, not quite, not quite. Oh my god. Oh, get the hell away from me. Get the hell away from me. 
buddy. Stop that. Okay. You know what? This is doable then. As long as we can break him down to at least 75 and I'm full health, we can survive. You know what? Power of Satan, that's pretty good too. Because this fight is nothing but hell. It's basically guaranteed that I will lose unless the RNG seems to not screw me. No. Why? Come on, come on, quickly. Okay, okay, we will survive. Maybe. Come on. Ooh. Wait. Why didn't we take any damage? Oh, okay, that's damage. Yeah, I'm still not entirely sure what goes on with, like, all of the overcharging and stuff of health. But that is a thing, and I'm not going to complain too much. Endure, okay. Damn it. But the worst thing that could possibly happen is I take a hit. Why? Why do you do this every time? Come on, can we break another tier? No. The, the worst possible thing that could happen is he heals, or I guess hits me and I have to choose between healing or trying to break that. Oh, oh, yes. Yes, unlimited magic, God. Oh, no, run, run. Fucking run, fucking run. <laughs> okay, you know what, it's fine. It's fine. We have a lot of MP stored up, but we can end this right here. Oh my God. That was a nightmare. <laughs> but the thing is, it was actually kind of fun. <laughs> oh my god, okay. And there's more, because of course there's more. Okay, so now that we've done all of that, I need to save and see about editing stuff, because I am not going to have any hard drive space left after this. <laughs>